Hello guys, now here's uh, more tutorials for Final Cut Pro and I'm going to start also including another um, software also from Apple that works hand in hand with Final Cut Pro called Motion. Um, so this is Motion version 5. It's also available from the App Store. It's uh, priced at around 50 US dollars. Um, it's a very, very powerful piece of software. It can be quite intimidating at first. It's not as intuitive maybe as some other um, Apple softwares but it's it's extremely powerful and hand in hand with Final Cut Pro you can create some really amazing effects so um, what I'm going to do in this just give you a basic introduction so we'll open a, a motion project and this is how the um, interface looks there's an awful lot of stuff we can do here and what I'm going to show you basically in this is how we can build a basic 3D cube and um, spin it on the page. So, let's close down my email there. Right. Um, so, this is actually a 2D workspace that we're looking at here, and we can create 2D objects on there. But you can also work in three dimensions um, within uh, motion. However, there's no three-dimensional objects. So those of you who've used um, 3D softwares before where you can kind of drag an, an, um, um, a 3D object onto the screen, you can change its, its parameters, it doesn't quite work like that. You've got to build your 3D objects out of 2D objects. So imagine it is like a, a stack of cards or something. So what we'll do is we'll start off by bringing in a um, square. So we'll draw a square, so this is a uh, different um, 2D objects we can draw, so we'll start with the rectangle and we'll draw a square on, on here, so like that. Uh, now you can see here, this is our layers and our group. Now I'm going to name this group the cube. Now on this rectangle here, we'll go over to our um, inspector and to the properties of the rectangle the shape and the geometry. Now, um, we've got a square here, because I held down the shift key when I dragged this. If you don't hold down the shift key, then it'll go in any direction, but if you hold down the shift key, it'll keep it um, square. So you can see here, it's, it's uh, 110, 110, minus 110, minus 110. So um, it's a perfect square, because every side is the same length. Um, we can also then change its position in our space. So what we'll do is we'll um, we'll just center it up on the screen. You see we have these guides will help us center it. Um, so let's put it at zero and zero in our um, position there. So this though is a 2D object. We can animate this 2D object on the screen. We can move it around, but I want to build a cube. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, add a camera to the uh, to the screen. So you see here we can create a camera. Now when you create a camera, it'll ask if you want to switch to 3D, which we say yes, we want to switch to 3D. Now we've got these camera controls up here where we can spin the camera around, and you see here there's our, our 3D plane. So this will be kind of familiar to those of you who have worked with 3D type softwares before. So this is our camera, and we can orbit it around. So you can see there is our two-dimensional square in 3D space. Now to build up a cube, what we're going to uh, do is clone this rectangle. So we'll uh, right-click on it, make a clone layer, and what that will do is it will make a clone of this. So you see if we drag this uh, out Select our clone rectangle. There you see. So now we've got uh, two uh, rectangles there. So I'll show you again. You will uh, right click, or in the Mac, it's uh, if you're using the touchpad, it will be two finger press and make clone layer. So once we've got this clone layer, we need to um, space it out. So we're going to move its position. Sorry, it's um, Y position to 110. And then we're going to need to rotate it in three-dimensional space. So in our properties, 
we go to rotation and you see now we've got the XYZ so you can rotate this uh, around now we want to rotate it on the uh, Z axis no on our X axis so we can put it flat so we're going to rotate it 90 degrees on our Z axis now we're also going to need to alter its position in 3D space so that our corners match up. So we're also going to want to move it on the Z-axis 110. So now you can see when we spin around our cube is beginning to take its shape. So we're going to make another clone of our rectangle layer. So we right click again, make clone layer and this time we don't need to rotate it we just need to move it on the z-axis back and we're going to want to move it back again um, 110 takes us halfway so we want to go 220 to go the full distance to the other side of the cube so you can see it's beginning to take its shape We'll do the same from the top here, make a clone layer, and we'll want to position that oops, minus 110, and there we have a, a cube, but we can see through it. Um, so we're just missing two more sides. So we'll do exactly the same thing. We're going to make a clone of our rectangle. This time we're going to want to rotate it. Um, right, 90 degrees in that direction. Nope. Let's get our correct axis. There and we're going to want to position it correctly and then we need one more which will be a clone of this side here make a clone layer and we're going to want to move it minus 110 and there we have our cube made um, what we need to add now is some lights we've got no shadows on this so it's it's not really showing up very well as a cube um, the other thing we can do if we go to our parent rectangle which is our original one here any changes that we make to this because the others are clones it will be replicated out so um, if we go to our shape and uh, to the style we can change our fill color and you see it makes the change to all of our cloned squares so let's change the color to this uh, bluish color um, now we'll create an outline and we'll have that in white so see now the cube is a little bit more defined a bit easier for us to see and One final thing I'll do is I'll alter the roundness so the corners you see there then become a little bit rounded. So there we have our cube in 3D space in Motion 5. So it's pretty straightforward and simple. In the uh, next tutorial for Motion I'm going to sh um, show you how we can add some lights to this scene and begin to get some shadows and some depth and some texture into um, our cube. So there you go, that's how we build a cube in Motion 5 out of 2D objects. Um, you can use this principle to, to build any, any number or manner of 3D objects um, that you require. And uh, we'll build on this project, like I said, and we'll build this into a nice title that we can then later import into Final Cut Pro. And we'll be able to use this object within there. Um, so thanks for tuning in and don't forget to like the video and follow my YouTube channel 
and uh, I hope it's been of some use to you. So I'll see you next time.